Devin Mazzarocco, Matt Harvey, trade, play a swipe, changing positions. Matt Harvey's going to join the team later on uh, this week. And I made a video how I am a Matt Harvey fan, and I guess this would be, um, I guess there's Cincinnati, fan, uh, Cincinnati Red fans out there. Listen, Harvey uh, has lost his stuff, okay, but he has a lot of stuff to give still. Mesoraco was playing a backup role and really wasn't performing. Starting pitchers have been a sore spot for this Reds team. You got to like that they are trying to attempt to bring in another pitcher to compete, which is what Harvey will do. More arms, more chance, you know, more of a chance to find something, you know, just a, a matter of numbers. Harvey has lost a spin on his ball, okay? No late movement, and the ball is uh, coming in flat. That's why he's getting rocked. Remember, he just had Tommy John surgery. May take a while to get his arm back to where he was pre-surgery. Swapping a Mezzo Rocco for a guy who could possibly find a way to work himself into the starting five? I'll take the pitcher. You take, I'll take definitely take the pitcher. You hope, if you're a Red fan, that he can regain this form, and I think he will. It's definitely it's worth a flyer. Mezzarocco has become a big liability behind the plate. He can't play any place else. Since 15 as well for Mazzarocco, that breakout year, kind of like Harvey, he's been injured. Both injury-prone players. Mazzarocco rides the bench for the most part, and the Reds need pitching in the most way. He either pitches poorly, and it's status quo for the Reds, or he pitches well, and maybe you could even use him as a chip at the trade line. Either way, I think it's a low-risk with a potential high payout for Cincinnati Reds. You know, on another note here too, you know, if you're a Red fan, can you all agree that this season is not going nowhere and the moves being made are opening up payroll and getting you younger players? Yes, I know that Harvey's not the youngest. But you can't keep guys because they're fan-friendly and aging or injured three-fourths of the season. And Jockety didn't do you any favors with his big contract mentality. So let's sell the pieces uh, you know can help you. Be like the Astros and, and, and build the farm. If you're a Red fan, maybe you could handle the losing it, but if knowing if you're going in the right direction. You know, Astros had a multiple hundred loss seasons and finally got their payoff last year with the farm that they built up. And then once you're in contention, then you could add the one or two big money guys for a season or two and then start the rotation all over again. If you're a Met, fan you definitely need a catcher <laughs> you definitely need a catcher the only question here um he's a free agent at the end of the year will you be able to sign him i don't think the mets are looking for him long term but you know if you're a red fan here too the only question is would